Yo, what's going on everybody? It's William with Man Meets Money. Let's talk about how we can save some today. Guys, before we jump into this video, if you are somebody who enjoys getting a great deal on tools you love from brands you love, guys, like this video, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite tool is and per the usual, we could talk about it. Hi right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the meat and potatoes of this video. Some of you guys might find this a little bit concerning. I was a little bit shocked. I didn't know what to expect, but let's talk about it. So if you're familiar with the Ryobi Days deal that was going on earlier this year, the beginning of summer, then this is probably gonna catch you by a little bit of a surprise. One evening, I just so happened to be scrolling through the Home Depot app. I mean, yo, there's no indications, there's no banners, no flyers, there's nothing going on in stores to let consumers know that there's this crazy deal that's going on right now. Even after Ryobi Days, I had items in my cart. Ryobi Days was over, but I noticed that I still had the same discounts applied. So of course, what I did for research purposes was I removed those items from my cart and then added them back. And I'm telling my wife, I'm like, yo, babe, these deals are still going on. I think Ryobi Days is still happening. I'm thinking there's a glitch going on. I don't know what's going on. Because there was no indication of this deal happening, I instantly start thinking that it's a mistake, but it's not. So let's go ahead and jump into the deal itself. So just like Ryobi Days, there's two different deals you can get, except for one of the deals, Ryobi is actually going with Rigid and Makita's tactic from the July 4th event. And that is when you buy a tool, you get two free batteries along with it. Now, there is a bigger deal, which is the $199 deal, which is exactly like Ryobi Days, in which you're getting three batteries, a charger, and a bag, and you're getting a free tool with that purchase. Because I went with that deal on Ryobi Days, there's no justification for me doing that same deal now. And of course, that's boring and I also have enough batteries. So I ended up going with the deal where you buy a tool and you get three batteries along with it. Now, what's a little bit different about this deal versus what Rigid and Makita were doing on July 4th is that when you buy the tool, you're actually getting a wide array of accessories that you would normally have to buy separate, which is also a big deal, and then you're still getting free batteries. Another kicker about this particular deal is that the item with the accessory is actually already discounted. Counted. So you already have a sell price on the item and accessory itself. You buy it and you also get the two free batteries. So you're getting a discount and then you're getting free products, which to me is just absolutely insane. Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about prices so you know exactly where the money is. So as you can see with this particular deal, you're getting two two amp hour batteries. Now, I was a little bit concerned that these aren't the high performance batteries considering that you're buying a brushless tool and you're getting non high performance batteries along with it, but there's a catch and we're gonna talk about that here in just a minute. You can see that the two batteries by themselves are $99. Now, here is a wide list of the tools that you can buy and get these batteries for free. And you can see that there are plenty of options available and considering the gravity of this deal, I would consider it an absolute win if you're somebody who's looking to add a new tool to your collection and you wanna get certain accessories with said tool, spend a little bit of less money and get free batteries along with it. Now, I know you're probably curious about what I got, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So the tool that I ended up going with is the brushless multi-tool, guys. This is absolutely an essential piece of equipment to have in your tool arsenal, especially if you're somebody who's really big into DIY. Now, one thing I didn't realize, and this is actually one of those rare instances where not reading everything paid off. If you look over here, you can see that it actually came with a flush cut and a plunge cut blade, as well as a sanding pad and three pieces of sandpaper. I was actually so caught up in looking at the extra accessories that it came with that I didn't even notice that the tool itself came with accessories on its own. I mean, I saw tool only and I thought that they were being literal. But... And this is the 16 piece blade set that it came with. And a lot of you guys already know that this is an absolute value. And just like all branded and aftermarket multi-tool blade sets, universal fitment and as you can see just like i was saying two two amp hour 18 volt batteries that came with it and like i said these are not the high performance batteries so there's a small chance that i'm gonna take advantage of the deal and return them now if you're gonna be taking the route that i'm going which is getting the tool for the sake of the discount and sending the batteries back if you feel conflicted about it guys please don't that's literally why they break up the discount amongst the products the way they do that way if you return one of them they don't have to take a complete loss so as you can see that's the price that i'll actually have paid for the tool once i return the batteries excellent deal and for the piece de la resistance itself 
here is the actual tool. Now, one thing that a lot of people didn't like about the first generation non-brushless version that it didn't have quick release. Of course, Ryobi caught on very quickly and added the quick release tab up top. So you can quickly change your blades just like you can with all of the other multi-tools on the market. As I said, it also came with this own kit as well. This means that I don't have to open the blade kit right away. I can wear these out first. So here's the flush cut that it came with. Here's the plunge cut that it came with. And here is the sanding pad and the three individual pieces of sandpaper that it came with. Hi guys, so unlike my past videos, I actually wanna give you guys an on-screen demo of how this multi-tool functions. So first thing we're gonna do is lift up the quick release lever. This is gonna be position one. Now, once you get here, you're actually gonna to wanna to push it all the way forward. And then you'll notice that the locking mechanism at the bottom pushes out. Now, I can't speak for all multi-tools, but this one in particular, the locking mechanism, you actually slide it out and then you're gonna extend it so that it actually faces like this. And this is gonna allow you to go ahead and drop your blade on easily. Then you're gonna go ahead and drop the locking mechanism back down, slide it back into place, and then you're gonna close up the quick release lever. And boom, just like that. Now, as I said, I'm probably not gonna keep those batteries, so I'm not gonna open them, but to test this tool out, I'm gonna use my 18 volt, four amp hour, high performance battery that's made for brushless tools. Beautiful. Now this actually has a switch on, so when you turn it on, you don't have to worry about keeping a trigger depressed for the duration of use. Now in conjunction with the switch on, you actually have your power dial selector down here at the bottom, and you're gonna have six different speeds. So this is speed one, speed two, three, four, five, six. And one thing I gotta add is the vibration bit is actually manageable. It's not vibrating too much during use. And this grip actually feels real good in the hand, guys. Now for storage, if you don't want to completely remove the blade for convenience sake, you can actually flip it and then turn it around. Quick release up, locking mechanism out, take the blade off. We're gonna 180, and then we're actually gonna flip it inwards like this. And then boom ready for storage. And flipping the blade backwards and in is actually gonna make it more compact and easier to store, and that way you don't risk damaging your blade or other tools you may be storing it with. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there's no remnants of this deal happening in stores at all. And in fact, what I figured out today when I went to my local Home Depot is it's online only. And just like all other great deals, it's while supplies last. In any event, guys, let me know down in the comments section, are you gonna hop on this deal? I mean, of course, the Christmas season's coming up. It's not a bad deal to get on if you wanna surprise somebody. If this video was helpful at all, guys, like, comment down below. Consider sharing with a friend or family member. Consider subscribing. Would love to have you in attendance for future videos. It's been another episode of Man Meets Money. I'm William. See you real soon.